my scrappy friends. I have a mixed media layout layout for you tonight. I am going to be using some watercolor and I'm also going to be using some of my sprays just to do the splatters and I'm going to use a plastic bag from an old like Thickers package or something just to smush it around. But I remembered that I had seen Missy use her paintbrush a little bit more lately and so I'm going to try that a little bit because I see it and I'm always like I should try that just to get a little bit more of that color where I want it to be and I think that's why I like this t the paper or the bag technique but I find that for me it doesn't have a lot of control so I actually really like doing it with the paintbrush after because I could control where I had bigger splotches a little bit better I don't know why I it's I guess it's that type a personality that is in me with the go with the flow personality that's in me that you know I have to do a little bit of both <laughs> so the spray that I'm using right now is the Miriam Smith color lab kit and you can buy the different powders and mix your own colors and so you can make your own spray. It's really fun because you can do whatever colors you want. I will say it's a, it's a lot of work and you have to either use really small bottles. I like the mini misters for them because you can just make a small amount and then when you're done with it you know you don't feel like you have this whole big bottle that you might not use. Because I've made a couple of colors that I didn't really care for in a bigger bottle and I'm stuck with them. So or I dump them, which I kind of feel bad that I'm dumping it, but you can make a lot of sprays with the, the powders, and it's pretty much just mica type of pigments and like colors in, but it's, it's a fun thing if you really like that kind of mixed media and the idea of making your own, and you can add them to like paints and stuff like that too, so you can do different things. So depending on how much mixed media you like, those are a great option. I am also using some Lindy Stamp Gang which is one of my favorite types of mists just because I love the colors and I haven't bought that many of them but I love them. I love the watercolory look that they give you and they're really nice and bright or they can be really soft if you add more water to it and I think that's what I like about them. So I had started up at the top and I didn't like and I had this problem with another layout I did where I thought it would look better if I just went all the way down the sheet I don't know why I just didn't start off that way <laughs> I don't know so here I am mixing some gold paint acrylic paint with some water and I'm gonna do the same technique but with the watered down gold paint I really wanted to have that color element of the gold because the photo that I'm using is a picture of my daughter in the sand. So I wanted to pick up the fact that there's sand. And she has like a corally pink bathing suit. So the pink and the gold just really, and they're just fun colors to mix together. They work really, really well. So I'm just smushing and... I found that these looked better with not so smushed. So here I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do on this paper because earlier, which you didn't see me do, I was playing around with my watercolors and doing some watercolor writing. Sometimes I just like to whip out a piece of white cardstock and just like, you know, just write some words or just, you know, doodle a little bit. And that sometimes that helps get my juices going when I'm scrapbooking. Just to kind of play around. I give myself permission to do like whatever. I can make a mess and I can just throw it out if I don't like it or I can keep it. And I really liked the way I wrote smile on the other sheet that I had done. So I'm going to do that and just keep it in that pink. It's like a magenta pink. 
and I had added a little bit of gold paint to it just so it had a little bit of a shimmer and it's really really hard to see but it just adds just a little bit of something extra this is a paper from simple stories and I'm going to cut the middle out because I really like the, that print you know that wood grain it's a really fun this light wood grain which I mean I just love wood grains in general they're just a good base to have <laughs> of course I didn't think about the fact of how thin I made some of my sides and you'll see me fool around with this for a little while because I didn't get it straight and there's a hole and I'm not sure what I did to this I'm not even sure. Even watching this back, I have no idea what I, how I got it wrong, but it was bubbling and it was driving me nuts. And I fool around with it a little bit, even more than this, because it's just like, wait, that's not straight, so I got to fix it, and oh my gosh. I was ready to just like throw that sheet out, like, <laughs> even now I'm like, ah, why? it just was not landing straight. There's my daughter's hands. They like to watch what I'm doing if I'm scrapping during the day. So eventually I will flip it over. I'm just going to leave it and I just decide that I'm going to get it as close as I can. And then I add it, just put my layout on the back of another piece of cardstock that I didn't, that I did stuff to and I didn't care for. So, so it's going to stick on there because some of the tape is sticking on the other side and that's okay because now I know it won't move around <laughs> while I'm scrapping I had that branding strip and it says remember this moment in cursive and it I just love the way that that looked with the black so I added that to that third bottom half that third half third quarter no that third of the page Wow, it's getting late and I shouldn't be doing math <laughs> on a day I spent super busy today. So I am looking for papers that are like pinks or like a neutral like wood grainy sand type color papers. So I have that piece of vellum that has the gold squares from fine and dandy and I love that vellum it's so pretty it's like cascading gold squares and then I used some Webster's page like blurry paper like the bokeh which can't go wrong with the bokeh they're just so much fun that it gives to that dreamy look and when you're at the beach it's all dreamy and and then I use a piece of poolside which was a wood grain and then I think I'm going to end up adding one more regular layer and then I add a couple of small, yeah. I'm going to use that. That's from the So Fancy collection. And I really love the, the watercolory look of some of the backgrounds on that, the, in that collection. And I ink everything in a like pink color just to match. And I'm just making my layers a little bit bigger and just some different sizes just so you can see hints of each of the layers and I'm wanting a piece that has a little bit of black and white because of the branding strip that has the black and white I feel like it needs something and I remembered that I had that piece there that has the the white with the black triangles from Webster's pages but I just didn't like that you couldn't see much of it most of it was hiding that's from the pool side. I have no idea. I'm talking to my daughter. <laughs> I like how I'm talking with my hands. Probably telling them to stop touching something. <laughs> they like to come over to my desk and just like touch stuff. Because they want to see all my goodies. Every single time. I mean, I'm glad that they're interested, right? But... <laughs> I'm afraid they're going to get their fingerprints all over everything. And then I, anyway, so I ended up using 
that chicken eating paper with the musical notes. And I really thought that that was kind of perfect because the waves have this musical feeling. And the, my daughter was laughing when I t was taking this photo. And just laughter makes me think of music. And so it was perfect. And I got that in my Pink Fresh Studio kit this month and let me tell you this month that kit is gorgeous it has so many things it has those alphas that I'm going to use for the letter sand that are really thin and those will these will be perfect for project life too they're really thin so you need to use something like glossy accents or Tombow or you know whatever you use to liquid adhesive to get them down but so I'm spelling out sand mustache and I actually had to google mustache to make sure I was going to spell it right <laughs> I'm horrible at spelling I don't know how many how you guys are but I'm horrible so almost every layout that I do if there's a something that I don't know how to spell I will just google it just to make sure because once you make the mistake of spelling something wrong, you're like, man. <laughs> and so I put it underneath there. And I like it, but I feel like it just feels weird. So I'm kind of looking for some ephemera pieces or die cut pieces just to add just a few extra things. And I know I don't want this layout to be really cluttered because I like that you can see the splatters and... I really like that photo of my daughter smiling with the sand on her chin. It's actually not really on her must like on a mustache level, but she was like putting her face in the sand. And at the North Shore, this was a beach at the North Shore, the sand is really, really thick because of the waves there. So it's almost like mini shells or like bits of shell. So when you like sit in it, especially if it's hot and sunny, it just sticks right to your skin. I mean, it's crazy to get off. I mean, you think this, the, the fine stuff, it's hard to get off. This stuff is really hard because it's really big pieces. But she just thought it was funny to just put it on her, you know, and she's sitting there laughing. And of course, I have to take a picture of it before I help her wipe it off. <laughs> So it was just fun. It was one of those memories that you have to just take a picture of it and you have to make sure you scrapbook it because I won't remember that, you know, 10 years from now probably. But now I have a photo, so I'll remember. I love those dimensional pieces from in the poolside collection. I've been trying to find places to, find, to put them in those wood buttons. Those ones are the Chamel. I think I just used the Chamel ones. on my layout if I remember correctly and I thought about using something from there but I didn't like how vintage that looked it was a little too vintagey for me to use the summer vibes so I don't end up using that so I go and find the poolside sticker sheet and I'm just going to add a little tag to layer underneath the other ephemera gold tag that I have there and I use the word hot. Oh no, I'm almost done with this layout. This really actually didn't take me too long to do. And then those are Pink Fresh Studio word letter stickers. And the one says adventure. So it's going to end up being sand mustache adventures. And then I have playing in the sun and beach day. Those are really fun. The only thing is they're really, really shiny. They're hard to take a picture of. And then in the kit, I also got these pink, like they're almost like a pink purpley color or rhinestone. And it just seemed perfect to go with that watercolor, the magenta watercolor. So I sprinkle those around and then I decide I should add some gold sequins because it just seems like I can't do a layout without having sequins on it. It's like, I think it's because enamel dots, they go so fast. <clears throat> I mean, I love enamel dots, but it seems like before I know it, that package is done. And with sequins, they just like multiply in the dish. 
So, and I love the the way that the light can hit it, and it just gives us nice. It's a fun thing to use on a beach layout. So I am just about done. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. And I hope you will come back and see some more stuff. I'm hoping that later on this weekend that or week and weekend I can get uh, a scrap bin layout done and a layout from using my heritage photos. So those are two things that I hope you guys look forward to. And also, if you don't know, I posted a couple of videos this past week and week like two weeks over on the Crafty Maven Getaway, which I started at the beginning of July. So I have some stuff over there that are not that's not on my channel. If you guys haven't headed over there, I'll make sure I put a link below in the comments. But I will see you guys later, and I hope you guys are inspired to whip out some of your beach photos and do a layout. I'll talk to you later. Bye.